saved my bacon there, kid. Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird-looking four-sided skull for a gobblegregger. That'll be just the thing I need to gobblegreg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? You don't know what a gobblegregger is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But, you know, do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. each other's sentences we double each other's happiness we share each other's husbands we multiply each other's wait, wait, wait what what you said we share each other's husbands yep i don't you've been kissing my husband uh oh my god two timer it's double the fun please excuse us we need to talk about this Sorry. Hi, I'm Harry Twofold. I love the upside downtown. It's a whole second two town. And I can't stand them. I hate that stupid thing. It's a huge mistake. Sorry, you must have been speaking to my other half. I hate it. By which I mean, it rules! Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the upside downtown. It's beautiful and great and... I hate it. Worst idea we ever had. Brilliant in both conception and execution. A disaster in waiting that will make everyone happy to die one day so that they can escape this horrible monster city. And then go to heaven, which will be exactly like the new upside downtown. Okay, have a nice and depressing day. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. interest you in a potion wait a minute I don't know you I only sell potions to my regular customers 
I don't give out my art willy-nilly. You're not from around here, are you? You must feel lost. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that! Jeez! Ahem. <clears throat> it would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though it has its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorid! Split personality, though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Ah, a keen question suggesting a logical mind. Everyone in Two Town is split, but it's not always the same way. I am fated to always be battling my other half, but even on my worst days, I know that it's fair. We battle it out and it's a great system! As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all, regardless of what the dice say. Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that... You know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic! An emotional and, frankly, embarrassing response, dare I say, cringe-worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. La 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 la, can't hear you. La 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 la, can't hear you. Ah, we have a few moments of privacy. There is one thing. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first. So if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes? Excellent. I require three bloobs. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Listen for their sounds and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. I assure you it makes no difference to them. They loathe their existence all the same. All I require is that you find three bloobs for me, and I'll have all that I need. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloobs. Promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. He's gone, yeah? Perfect! Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to log me out for good! There's no stopping him. It's logical! So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd be much obliged. Perfect! Oh, <laughs> perfect! Okay, I'll need three bloobs, same as him, but you need to give them to me. Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> Behold. The door to Three Town. Alas, the door was sealed shut 
and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evan's friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two, and Evan would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? I wonder if they could fix you. Roll your dice and defeat all enemies. It's that simple. Dicey was affecting that giant board game. A bubble that slows time for fear.
some of us are trying to sleep. You can't hear that, can't you? That noise! Uh, dang it. I'm trying to sleep, and that blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus. Lady, you'd do an old man's heart good if you could see your way to clearing those dang bloobs off my roof. All I want to do is nap. I'm old. I've spent more hours awake than anyone, and I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Quiet unconsciousness. You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you or something. Thank you, little one. You've made an old man's heart want to fill with hope. Which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep that darn noise down! Please don't dawdle now. I'm very old. You dang little bloop critter! Come on, Dicey! Let's go! Thank you, little one. Well, have you gotten the ingredients yet? Oh, it's uh, no good without all three. Uh, go find more, please. I need all of them. It's logical for you to do so. For me, obviously. Hey, Maddie Dex here, car.
Is the Aston Living Store at your service? Even knew that the door wouldn't open until Dicey had a third pip. Which was good, because it saved me from having to repeat myself. So again, that door won't open unless Dicey has a third pip, which he does not. Come on, Dicey! A dice! Child! Yeah. You, child! I believe we can be useful to each other. No, nor are you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. Indeed, indeed. I'm just uh, speaking hypothetically. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice, which of course you don't, which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Cellar Street. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique, say a fossil, not knowing its true value, its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it, or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course, and if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested, and I'd make it worth your while, worth your while indeed. I've heard stories around Cellar Street. There's all sorts of strange items for trade there. And if you can't find it directly, you could trade until you do. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words and someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful, child. Trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. And then you give it to me, and I will take care. Uh, all this tunus reminds me of Odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. As she looked up, Even began to realize that Two Town's name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seemed to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Okay. 
Someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. I haven't seen your sister though. The thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. Oh, uh, not like that. Uh, nanny Fortuna. Old lady, right hand of the queen. She is as mean as she is old. Anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. So, it seems like we both have a reason not to like her. Uh, the Civil War and Freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> but enough about that. What's up with this dice? I haven't seen a real one in years. I see you're... Missing a couple of pips, little one, if you're gonna go anywhere. You are new, aren't you? The door to three towns forever locked. It keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you, but... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> Absolutely! <laughs> I'm certain the nanny passed my eyes on to the mayor. Of course. If she'd given them to the right mayor, getting them back would be easy, but she gave them to that upside-down one. Ugh, what a nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Listen, even if things were that easy, do you think we'd all be here? Heck no! We'd all be in Six Town, living the high life, relaxing by... Uh, by... Whatever it is that six towners relax by, a pool of gold, probably. Sadly, it's not that easy, even. <laughs> Especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor. So, yeah, find my eyes, and I can definitely help you. So, you'll help out old Seymour? Thank you. Be careful with that two faced mayor. Okay, if you need me, I'll be over at the town square, near the door to freedom. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad, large monster. He'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. Mmm, 
Low down there. That I am. Well, one of them at least. Uh, and you, young lady, are... Well met even. At last, even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town, the administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least, even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, even? You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs? Mine a twister for some colon guys? Grind your... Uh, why don't you take the elevator and step into my office, even? It'll be easier to talk. City in the sky. Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand and then... One day, he was just... There. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even, if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you notice the changes here, even. Our personalities becoming personified now. Yes, that's what Royam is. He's getting more powerful every day, and I don't know how to fix him, or everything else. I don't know how to fix this town even, and I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? What's that little girl? You want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more... Um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. Well, for starters, he's wasting precious time and people on this upside-down project. Secondly, he is bat-dung mad as a hatter and he freaks me out personally. He's my opposite, but at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royan directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help, and this is all I can do. 
I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, Ethan. It's your choice. And good luck. My name is Royan, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh... I was about to say that. That's my rhyme. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh... Uh... Stop interrupting me! I almost have it! Ah! You have met but an idiotic fool! I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... <laughs> Look! You've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming! I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me? What do you want? Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? Oh no, I don't give anything away for free. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real... real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... Ah, uh, yes, yes, that's it precisely. Just teach me how to rhyme. In a nice manner. Here's my offer. Take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Ah, you are good. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... cooked. I was about to say that. It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps those could be of inspiration. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their... body mass, metaphorically. Game Master Spear, what, what are you doing here? This is an active construction site. We have work to do here, kid. It doesn't matter what your name is. You can't be here, kid. Look, we're all under a tight schedule here. I can't stop work just to escort you home. So 
If you, if, you, if, you, if you promise not to die or otherwise interfere with our work here, I'll answer some questions for you, okay? But by the card makers, we can't have kids wandering around an active work site. Come on, get going, before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up for that is
Oma's grace! I was pinned down by those... those vile machines. But now they're scrap. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. Even, huh? Well, you're big even to me now. Big's an honorific, you know. Big Red and Big Even. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this... this horrible place, Big Even? Ah, I wish I could help. Sorry, kid, but I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, named a Little Joe. That's him. Looks just like me, only he's a jerk. Well, he was going to work up here, but I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister! So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. I've had better times, yeah. Now I just want to go home. And now I can! Thank you! You've really made a difference in my life, Big Even. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique from Papo's Wild Circus, the woman with three personalities. Hmm. Miss? I could use that word.